Now, dito na tayo sa number 23, 24, 25 sa ating numerical reasoning na ito ay actual na lumabas sa mismong civil service exam. Ito ay sinisend lang sa isa sa ating mga followers kaya hindi natin i-reveal kung sinong nagbigay sa atin ito. At syempre, wala tayong answer key nito kaya yun ang gagawin natin is solve natin itong tatlong math problems. Pero i-post nyo muna ang video nito para try nyo muna ang sagutan bago nyo mapanood yung mismong detalying solusyon natin. At laging tandaan at lagi ko na rin ini- sinasabi to, never memorize the answers because that will never help you kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sagutan. Number 23. What is the volume of a rectangular box? Volume tayo. Whose edges are of length. Ito yung mga nasa sides, yung edges, 3 cm, 10 cm, and 12 cm. Volume ang hinahanap, i-multiply lang natin yung tatlo. 3 times 10 times 12. 3 times 10, this is 30 times 12. Ito lang i-multiply mo. 12 times 3, this is 36. At yung kopyahin yung 0. So, ang sagot dito, 360. Next, number 24. The ideal ratio of teachers to students. Si teacher to students ay 3 is to 75. How many teachers should there be if there are 2,350? Now, itong ratio na 3 is to 75, ilist natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 3. 3 divided by 3, and this is 1. 75 divided by 3, and this is 25. So, bali, ang ratio sa teacher to student ay 1 is to 25. Yung total dito ay 2,350. Ito ay igrupo natin by 25. Ilang 25 ba yan? Ilang 25 students. 235 divided by 25. Ilang 25 si 235? 9. 25 nine 9, 225. minus minus 225, this is 10. Bring down yung isang 0. Now, 100 divided by 25, and this is 4. Therefore, sa tanong na how many teachers should there be if there are 2,350 students, ang sagot ay 94. Isa pang paraan. Isa pang paraan. So, yung teacher to student, this is 3 is to 75. Pwedeng 3 over 75. Yung nasa taas, yan yung number of teachers. So, let T para sa hinahanap natin yung how many teachers kung yung number of students ay 2,350. Now, para makuha natin yung value ni T dito, since itong 2,350 ay pang divide yan, pang multiply na yan sa 3. So, 2,350 times 3, this is 15, carry 1, 10, carry 1, this is 7. Bring down natin itong 0. So, this is 7,050 over 75 equals T. So, i-divide natin yan para makuha natin yung value ni T. 7,050 divided by 75. So, this is 9. 9 times 75. This is 45, 67. So, kung i-minus natin yan, this is 30. Bring down natin yung 0. 300 divided by 75. And this is 4. So, ang sagot dito, 94. 94, yan na yung number of teachers na kailangan sa 2,350 students. Kaya letter E ang tamang sagot. Number 25, isa rin itong dating lumabas sa civil service exam. Kung napanood nyo yung mga post natin regarding sa percentage, masasagutan nyo to. Kapag sinab- sinabing percent means... Per 100. So, itong 40%, this means 40 pesos. 
per 100. Next, yung of dito, yung of ay multiplication, kopyahin yung 200, yung is dito ay equal sign. Now, what part? Pwedeng N, pwedeng X, pwedeng letter P. So, yan yung variable natin na hanapin pa natin yung value nito. Ang of ulit ay multiplication at kopyahin itong 320. So, isolve muna natin itong nandito. Yung dalawang zero dyan at dalawang zero dito sa denominator, pwede naman natin yung i-cancel out. At ang natitira na lang ay itong 40 at itong 2. So, i-multiply natin yan. 40 times 2, this is 80. At kopyahin lang itong P times 320. Kung gusto nyo yung detalye nito, 40 over 100 times yung 200. Always remember, lahat ng mga whole number, ang denominator nila ay 1. So, kapag minumultiply natin yung multiplication of fraction, numerator to numerator, so this is 8,000 over yung multiply natin yung denominator 100. So, kung i-cancel out natin yung dalawang zero sa taas, dalawang zero sa baba, 80 lang din naman ang sagot. So, anyway, let's proceed. Para makuha natin yung value ni P, since itong 320 ay pang-multiply dyan, pang-divide na siya sa kabila. So, ang P equals 80 divided by 320. Now, since ang nasa mga choices ay puro yan mga fractions. So, gawin na lang natin itong fraction. 80 over 320. Hanapan lang natin ang greatest common factor, which is 80. 80 divided by 80, and that is 1. 320 divided by 80, and this is 4. Therefore, ang sagot nito ay 1 fourth. At ito ay nasa letter B. Thank you for watching and all. I hope mayroon kayong natutunan sa video ito. Uulitin ko when it comes to mathematics, never memorize the answers because that will never help you. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you and God bless.